J.D. Vance has admitted to spreading a racist lie about immigrants in Springfield, Ohio. You've likely heard or seen the soundbite of Donald Trump claiming they're eating the dogs, they're eating the cats. Well, Vance has now confessed that he was willing to, quote, create stories so that the American media actually pays attention. Despite this admission, he stood by the lies that he and Trump have spread, falsely accusing Haitian migrants in Ohio of eating pets. The lies from Vance and Trump have had dangerous real-world consequences. These baseless claims have fueled bomb threats, drawn out hate groups like the Proud Boys and the KKK to Springfield, and even caused school closures. This connection between their racist fabrications and violent outcomes is a clear reminder of how dangerous xenophobic rhetoric can be. Spreading such lies not only fuels hate, but puts marginalized communities at risk. While some on the internet may have mocked the absurdity of these claims, this is no laughing matter. Disinformation like this stirs fear and emboldens extremists. Vance's admission that he made up the story for media attention is a chilling example of how far-right leaders manipulate the public. Even though he's come clean, the damage is done. Xenophobia has been stoked and innocent lives in Springfield are threatened. And this isn't just an issue for one town in Ohio. When racist lies like this are spread, they endanger communities across the country, empower fascist groups, and erode social unity. By weaponizing disinformation for political gain, Figures like Vance and Trump put vulnerable populations in even greater danger.